Hi, I'm Kathleen. Welcome to Kawaii Art Cafe. So today is a new Artist Alley vlog. As you can see, I'm opening some pins over here. And basically, I'm going to be preparing to table at the Fable Comic Con this weekend. I had a lot of merch I needed to repair to tables, such as these new Ghibli pins. I was super excited about these. I was waiting to create these pins for quite a while, and I had ordered six new Ghibli themed designs. I was going for like a Ghibli cafe theme. I definitely want to make more like pastry or food related anime merch, if that makes sense, to kind of fit under my Kawaii Art Cafe theme. Uh, if you guys are curious, I actually ordered these pins from Sticker Mule. Uh, check out my previous video if you want to see a review. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the quality of these pins. As soon as I open them, I go ahead and start designing individual backing cards for each design. I do make my backing cards at home. I do find that it's more cost efficient and just as cute as buying my own backing cards. Once I'm done designing, I then go ahead and crop them out. I design my backing cards on my iPad Pro and then I print them out on cardstock paper. I then use my guillotine cutter, I don't know, did I pronounce that right? <laughs> my guillotine cutter to crop out each and every one. I also uh, restocked on some of my old pin designs as well, so that's why you see more than six of them here. And I just love how cute and colorful they are. I think they look like candy. <laughs> Next, I separated my pins into different crates just to keep organized. And then here's the tedious part. Uh, Sticky Mule actually puts a protective film on each of the pins so they don't get scratched, which is amazing. Uh, personally for me, I just like to peel them off for the customer so it's a bit more of a pleasant experience. And once I'm done peeling off the film, I go ahead and lay out my backing cards on a piece of styrofoam. Now these are just recycled styrofoam I got from Amazon packages and pop the pins on top. This is honestly my most favorite part <laughs> of the pin making process. Once I'm done attaching the pins, I put the backing back on the back. I don't know, that was kind of redundant. <laughs> the rubber clasps back on and then wrap them into these individual cellophane bags. Seeing that I got these pins only a week early before the convention, I was kind of on a time crunch, so I ended up taking some of my work home just to peel off the film. This is the most tedious part. <laughs> Um, overall, it probably took like an hour or so to do this part. Typically, it takes me longer, but thankfully, my boyfriend actually helped me out. He was kind enough to help peel off some of the film over here in our living room. <laughs> yes, uh, a lot of people ask me why I take off the protective film, and a lot of pin artists would just keep the film on top of their pins for their customers, but I take it off because I, um, I individually wrap each of the pins into a plastic bag and this is what they look like. Now I'm just taking you guys on a quick break. <laughs> um, as I told you guys, I recently moved and so I was just exploring the area a little bit and I found this super cute candy shop and to my surprise, it actually had my mom's most favorite candy which actually got discontinued in a lot of stores so I was super excited to find these. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you guys enjoy this stuff, but I am considering maybe taking you guys along with me on some like personal trips or just little date out. I just went on a little date. I love when artists um, have studio vlogs that show little clips of their personal life. But let me know. Comment below if you're interested in that type of stuff. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still working from home. Again, this was like a week before the convention, so I had a lot to do. Uh, but yes, 
Please don't follow my example. If you guys can prepare ahead of time, try to give yourself a lot more time to prepare for a convention, especially if you have a lot of tiny little products like I do. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm just individually wrapping my sticky notes and my mouse pads. Now right here, uh, I'm actually watching Think Shoes Studio Vlogs. I love her videos. I'm pretty sure she won't see this, but she's a huge inspiration to me on how I do my studio vlogs. Alright, back in the office, all my pins have the film removed and I'm just removing the rubber clasp. Now, pins can be a bit of a tedious process, but I sincerely enjoy making them. They're actually one of my most favorite products to create. <laughs> I enjoy packaging them and making candy colored little pins. And these were actually like my newest item specifically for the convention. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna make them a convention exclusive or not, but. I'm super proud of these Ghibli pins. This one was definitely a dream project I've been thinking of for quite a while. Once they're all wrapped up, I just put them in this little drawer. Um, I got these Sterilite drawers for like $6 at Walmart, and I find that they're a super cute, cheap, and affordable way to store my pin storage. Um, if you guys want further details on like how I organize my Etsy shop, I do have a studio tour video on my YouTube where I show you guys how I organize my Etsy shop. As well as I have like short snippets on my Instagram as well. So feel free to follow if you want things like organization tips and just small clips here and there. Once I'm done wrapping all the pins, I made a very quick display uh, for my pins for my Artist Alley table, and this is what it looks like. I'm super proud of how colorful and cute it came out. <laughs> yes, I just stuck them on a cork board, and now I have a total of 18 new pins. <laughs> Lastly, I'm just finishing the convention prep with some sticker prepping. I had so many new sticker designs, I didn't even realize. But I just cut out some 3 inch die cut stickers of various designs. If you guys are interested, I actually have a sticker tutorial on my YouTube channel as well. But these are all the stickers that I'm taking with me to the convention. I'm so excited. It will be my third time at this event, the Fave of Comic Con. And I'm just showing how I package my pins and stickers that I created with you guys. But yes, actually starting next week, I'll be posting a full Artist Alley vlog of the event. And I can't wait to see you guys there. I really want to show you guys what it's like to sell at Artist Alley's and I hope you guys find my videos helpful. Alright, thank you for watching to the end. If you did, comment down a bear emoji. Alright then, I'll see you guys in my next Artist Alley vlog. Bye!